Memorial Day. Memorial Day first began May 30th, 1868 for the purpose of commemorating those who had died in the Civil War. It was a day that rose above distinction of North and South. Nowadays, we remember any fallen soldier from the many conflicts that have happened since. But yet it is still a day that rises above things like political distinction. When we come together on Memorial Day, we remember the stories, not the conflicts. Soldiers like Joe Morris. Joe Morris lied to the recruiter about his age when the recruiter came to the Navajo Nation in 1944. He served as a Navajo code talker, taking part in every assault the U.S. Marines conducted in the Pacific from 1942 to 1945. Joe received messages on the battlefields of Iwo Jima in a code based on the Navajo language, a code that was never broken. Because of that, it was not until the last 20 years that the code talkers, such as Mr. Morris, were recognized for their role in ending the war with Japan. Here at the cemetery, there are men like pilot Perry Willis Lindsay. Perry was one of the famed Tuskegee Airmen, the first African-American military aviators in United States and Armed Forces history. During World War II, the American military was still racially segregated, as was much of the federal government. These highly educated and skilled soldiers were subjected to racial discrimination, both within and outside the Army. They overcame that and fought for their right to defend their country, their home. And even women like Lillian Kyle. She was a captain, an Air Force flight nurse, flying on over 425 combat missions and taking part in 11 major campaigns, including D-Day and the Battle of the Bulge. One of the most decorated women in American military history, she was awarded 19 medals, including a European theater medal with four battle stars, a Korean service medal with seven battle stars, four air medals, and a presidential citation from the Republic of Korea. You didn't mess with Lillian. And while there are many men and women of note here at National Cemetery, there are also your loved ones, grandfathers, fathers, husbands, daughters, sons, wives. All of them here, all of them had impact on your lives, all with a great story. To all of them and to all of you, today we say thank you. Their stories will not be forgotten and their sacrifices will always be remembered.